अरुणाचल प्रदेश में बाबा रामदेव के कार्यक्रम में हंगामा कांग्रेसी सांसद निनोंग इरिंग पर बाबा से बदसलूकी के आरोप कांग्रेस ने घटना को बताया दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण बीजेपी बोली कांग्रेसी सांसद पर पार्टी करे रुखसा रामदेव से बदसलूकी के आरोप सांसद ऐसी जवाब मांगेगी कांग्रेस तार से चर्चा की और अभी हाल ही में प्रधानमंत्री जी से पूछे गए अपने सात सवालों का पूरे विस्तार से ब्यौरा दिया जी और वहां उपस्थित हजारों की भीड़ से पूछा कि क्या आप इन मुद्दों से सहमत हैं क्या विदेशों से विदेशों में जमा काला धन लाने के से सहमत हैं क्या आप भ्रष्टाचार मिटाने के पक्ष में हैं तो वहां उपस्थित हजारों लोगों ने एक स्वर से सहमति व्यक्त की ये देखकर वहां पर जो उपस्थित सांसद हैं जो कांग्रेस आई के सांसद हैं निनोंग एरिंग जी साथ में उनके वहां के अरुणाचल प्रदेश के शिक्षा मंत्री श्रीमान बोसीराम साईराम जी भी उपस्थित थे वो अपना आपा खो बैठे सांसद साहब उन्होंने सीधा स्वामी जी को ब्लडी इंडियन कहा और कहा कुत्ता ब्लडी इंडियन कुत्ता और साथ में कहा कि अगर भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ ये भारत स्वाभिमान का आंदोलन आपने बंद नहीं किया तो आपको दुष्परिणाम भुगतने पड़ेंगे इससे तीन बातें स्पष्ट होती हैं। जी ब्लडी इंडियन विश्व के नक्शे में किसी भी देश का नागरिक कहने की हिम्मत नहीं कर सकता हिंदुस्तान में हिंदुस्तान की सरजमी पर एक हिंदु दूसरे हिंदुस्तानी को ऐसे शब्दों का बोला जाना ये तय करता है ये बताता है कि अंग्रेज चले गए अंग्रेजी व्यवस्था तो जस की तस बनी हुई है तिजारा वाला, लेकिन तिजारा वाला जी हमारे साथ खुद सांसद मौजूद हैं रिंग श्री निनिग आपसे हम जाना चाहेंगे निनिग साहब कि आखिर क्या ये मसला हुआ और तिजारा वाला जी ने जो कहा है उसके बारे में आपकी क्या प्रतिक्रिया है हेलो हाँ मैं निनोंग इनिंग बोल रहा हूँ यहाँ का अरुणाचल प्रदेश का सांसद आज का जो अप्रिय घटना जो हुआ है इसके लिए मैं भी बहुत शर्मिंदा हूँ एक इन एक दूसरा चीज है जिस प्रकार से हमारा इधर में जो कह रहे हैं कि हमने बाबा जी को कुत्ता बोला या जो देश के खिलाफ हमने बोला ये तो एक बहुत गलत एक मैसेज गया है क्योंकि इसलिए मैं इसको गलत कहूंगा क्योंकि मैं एक अरुणाचल प्रदेश का सिर्फ नहीं बल्कि हमें उत्तर पूर्वी राज्यों में से जितने भी सांसद है मैं एक सांसद हर बार हम सदन में हो या सदन के बाहर हो चाहे इस बार का मैं जो दौरा किया था महाराष्ट्र गुजरात और उधर का मध्य प्रदेश वगैरह का और वहाँ भी हर बार हर मीटिंग में मैंने कहा कि हम अपने आप को गर्व समझते हैं कि हम हिंदुस्तानी हैं तो हम कैसा रहा बाबा राम जी को भी हम उसको कहेंगे कुत्ता या ब्रज इंडियन लेकिन श्री निनिक साहब सवाल ये भी है कि जब काले धन और विदेश में जमा धन के ऊपर बातचीत बोलने लगे बाबा रामदेव फिर आपने उन्हें रोका क्यों नहीं वो काले धन के बारे में बोल चुका था वो हमारे लोग हमारे जो प्रिय नेता स्वर्गीय नेता जब आ, उनके विषय में भी राजीव गांधी के विषय में उन्होंने कहा तो हो क्या वाजी यू नो डिजर्विंग फॉर द द भारत रत्न उसमें भी मैं थोड़ा चीर तो जरूर गया था लेकिन जब उन्होंने कहा कि जितने हमारा यहाँ का नेता हमारे एम जब उन्होंने कहा कि जब आप क्यों अपना जो काला धन वहाँ विदेश में भेजता है उसमें इतने में टिप्पणी किया कि बाबा जी हम तो यहाँ आपके साथ है आपके हम शिष्य हैं यहाँ हम योग करने हैं हम सुबह से हम वहाँ बैठे हुए थे योग करते हुए लेकिन जब जी. उन्होंने जब राजनीति की बात किया तब मैंने उनको कहा कि बाबा आप क्या आपका इस पर जो योग आसन को सीमित सिर्फ योग में नहीं रख सकते जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया निनिक साहब इस बातचीत के लिए इरिंग श्री निनिक सांसद हैं जो उत्तर अरुणाचल प्रदेश से उन्होंने आज की घटना के लिए हालांकि माफी मांगी लेकिन एस के तिजारा वाला जो प्रवक्ता हैं बाबा रामदेव के उनके आरोप को उन्हें गलत बताया है कि उन्होंने किसी तरह से किसी तरह के आप शब्द का इस्तेमाल किया फिलहाल बहुत अरुणाचल प्रदेश में बाबा रामदेव के साथ कांग्रेस सांसद ने की बस सलूकी बीजेपी ने कहा संसद में उठाएंगे नाउ कांग्रेस ओज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन As to what action they are going to take against their member of parliament, Mr. Iring from Arunachal, who abused Ramdev Baba. The Congress has been put in an uncomfortable spot, with the MP's comments being seen as anti-national. The party now promises strict action. जो प्रभारी हैं हमारे अरुणाचल प्रदेश के सभाविक रूप से उनसे हम लोग वस्तु स्थिति की जानकारी लेके आपको बताएंगे. कि कांग्रेस का उस मामले में क्या स्टैंड है बाबा रामदेव इज अ वेरी रेस्पेक्टेड मैन इन द कंट्री एंड ही इज अ नॉन पॉलिटिकल पर्सन 
And if somebody, and especially from a person who is an elected representative, makes certain statement which sounds like anti-national, it's very unfortunate. Baba Ramdev's insult by the Congress MP is the latest among issues that have kept the Congress and the BJP far from working in sync. With the BJP threatening to take the matter up seriously, the Congress is in a tight corner yet again. With Rahul Singh and Kartike Sharma, Mohammed Safi Shamsi in Kolkata for headlines today. All right, this has now become yet another political fistica fight between the Congress and the BJP over the whole issue of black money. Joining us now is the national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Prakash Javdekar. But first, I want to go across to Mr. Ninong Ering. He's the principal protagonist, one of the two principal protagonists in this entire drama. He's the Congress MP who's right at the heart of this controversy. Mr. Ering, clarify for us, what did you tell Baba Ramdev? He's alleging that you mouthed expletives against him. Is that so? Um, I read uh, the statement that uh, was published against me in all the news headlines. Because uh, I asked uh, Abaran to even after the incident and explain to him that uh, all of the, the relations that were put against me in the news is coming from ever first. Because uh, already this was a live telecast by I think Asta and some other channels <coughs> which were all uh, focusing on me. So when uh, I had also attended the Shivir, because I was also invited to the Shivir, in fact, I contributed also to the Shivir, to the Yoga Shivir. And when I went down there for the mm -hmm. uh, Yoga Asan, I was also doing the Asan very properly. Then uh, right in the middle of it, uh, he used to give some political comments and gimmicks. He used to all make us laugh also. That, that was very good. Okay. So suddenly when uh, he started saying that is... Uh, uh, our uh, beloved leader Rajiv Gandhi, uh, you know, he doesn't deserve the Bharat Ratan. Then I was slightly touched. I said, that is, this is very wrong because, uh, you know, uh, Rajiv Gandhi has done a lot for North East, especially Arunachal Pradesh. He's the man who has given the state food or the UT or even protects us right from, you know, we, it is a generation, right? My father was a union minister in Delhi. No, no, right? but, but Baba Ramdev has said, and he said this while you were there in front of television cameras across the country, that you mouthed expletives against him. Did you, did you say anything uh, that, that was unparliamentary in that, in that meeting, in that shivir? Yes, but what I want to tell you very clearly, see, beside me there were thousands of his supporters. There were so many, you know, of his, uh, you can say, uh, uh, sevaks or what you call them, his, you know, people who work with him. So, uh, what I want to really clarify and tell you, in the name of God, I have not said such a word, and if I have said it, so it should be in the recording. There has to so, be recording. So, so you're saying that Baba Ramdev is actually lying when he says that you called him anti-national and that you mouthed expletives against him? No, no, that is not there. That is not there. Okay, I, I want you to stay on the line with us. I'm, yeah. I'm going across to Prakash Javdekar, the national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Mr. Javdekar, now that Mr. Ering, who's one of the two people involved in this controversy, has clarified that he never said anything controversial or never called the Baba anti-national, why should the BJP continue to lash on to this issue? It is not BJP. It, it is every Indian will be shocked. If he had said or not, that there is a live recording, so that can be confirmed. He was with his associates also, and one of the associates also said something. And the thing is, if somebody says that bloody Indians, that means there are two objections. You, one first is that you are abusing uh, uh, Ramdev Baba like a revered man. But apart from that, what you are saying is that bloody Indians means you are Indian, no? You are representing Arunachal in Indian parliament. Then you are Indian. So you can't say somebody else as bloody Indian and uh, you are not. Uh, that means you are saying that you are not Indian. No, but That's Mr. Javdekar, Mr. Mr. Ering, Mr. And and Mr. Ering has just spoken to us, and, and I'm sure you heard it, saying that he never said anything of that sort. He's saying that how could I say something like that when there were tens of thousands of Baba supporters around me? But then Ramdev Baba repeated what he said, and that is what you are now showing it, but uh, not that sentence you are, uh, because that is being cut now. Let that truth come. If he has said so, that is our reaction. If he has said, that is most dangerous. And that means also that Arunachal is not part of India. That is, that is the most objectionable thing. And 
Mr. Herring, you, you want to respond to that? You want to respond to that? That, 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 that yeah. by, by the expletives that you use, the BJP believes that uh, you are in a way not owing allegiance to this country. You're an elected member of parliament. You represent your state in the Indian parliament. Uh, do you believe you've diluted that by, by saying what you said today? Or alleged to have said what you said today? So this is what I am saying, that it is very unfortunate that the media sees only the bad part of what we say. And when I said I have not said it, how come this could be reviewed? You know, it should be reviewed. I am saying there are live recordings of uh, His uh, Holiness Babaji. You can see his videos, because I didn't have any video. I didn't even take a PC, PS. I didn't even take my security guard. I, did, I went alone. I went there and attended the Shivir very dedicatedly. Only when he took the name of our Reverend uh, Rajiv Gandhi and when he to talked about politics, the only word, I promise to God, the only word I said, that Baba Ramji, can't we stick to our yoga asans than to politics? That's the only word. And you can see from the live recording also, I spoke while I was sitting. Then he couldn't hear me. So okay. when he couldn't hear me, how could I say, you know... I am one man in parliament. If you see all my records in my whatever discussion I've said, I'm the only MP in the Northeast who speaks in Hindi. I've never spoken in English. I always speak in Hindi, and I'm very proud to say, Mujhe, mujhe ki mein Hindustani ho. How can I elect? How can anybody, you know, if you don't believe me, please ask your own BJP people. Please ask Tarun Vijay. You ask Mr. Chandrasekhar. You even may ask the RSS chief once RSS says, that if I have said anything against my country, I'm very proud to be Indian. I'm one man who has fought for the integrity of India. Yeah. Hello. M M Mr. Javdekar, you heard Mr. Ehring. He's very passionately defended his Indianness on national television. He's saying he's one parliamentarian from the Northeast who always asks questions in parliament in Hindi and that uh, uh, he can, you can ask any senior BJP member himself on, on Mr. Ehring's uh, Indianness. Now that he's come on national television and clarified his position, don't you think it's time to bury this controversy? No, no, if somebody clarifies and if Ramdev Baba also says that this is what he said and not what was reported, I don't know from then where reports came. But you have to take the take of Ramdev Baba because we were reacting on the question of the media that this has happened and uh, such and such MP has said this and Ramdev, so we reacted. So it is... Yeah, you have to verify from Ramdev what has, what has happened actually. No, but Mr. Javadikar, why is, why is the BJP holding a brief for Baba Ramdev? It is not holding brief for anybody. Even you will also be reacting the same way which I reacted because it is the reaction of any Indian. If somebody says... Anybody